This uh, video is uh, for how to write formulas for uh, basic ionic compounds. And so what you'll need is you'll need to get out your tan chart to help you do this. All right, so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to look up on there the, the positive ion in the formula. So it's magnesium. So you find that on the chart here. And it's magnesium 2 positive, if you can see that. So you, you write that down here. So you go magnesium and you put the two positive up here. And then you find the negative ion, which is oxide, you find that, and that's O with a two minus. Now, if the positive charges already cancel out the negative charges, that means you just need one of these will cancel out one of these. And so what you need is you just need one of each if the charges already cancel each other out. And so then you just rewrite it, and chemists leave off one, so MgO, that would be the correct formula. Okay, let's, let's try number two. Lithium, so I find it on the chart right here, and it's lithium plus one. So I come over here, and I, and I write Li, and I put the charge, one positive up here. And then I find oxide, which we just did that one earlier. That's on the right side of the column and it's two minus. Now, if the charges do not equal each other, you can just crisscross them. So I'm gonna put the two here and the one there because two positive ones cancels out one two minus. If you remember the card thing that we did in class with the blocks of wood, that if you have one two minus, that will cancel out two positive ones, like lift two positive ones, cancel out one, two minus. All right? Okay, so that's, that's what you would do to write formulas is you can do the crisscross method. I guess I'll do, I'll do one more here. And so barium phosphide, so you write BA, you look up barium, it's two positive, two plus, phosphide is P, and you can find it, it's in the three negative way at the bottom here. And the charges don't, they're not equal but opposite. So you crisscross and you go three, two. I forgot to rewrite this one up here. So I would rewrite this one, Li2. Oh, I forgot, I forgot about doing that. All right. So anyway, you can, you can rewrite the rest of them or write the rest of them on the worksheet. I, I do want to show you one thing. I need a little white space over here to do it. So let's just say that you're doing one that comes up like this one right here. So like, let's say you're trying to do one that looks like this right here. Aluminum and it's nitride. And so you would write it Al three plus nitride three minus. You see if the charges are already the same, you just need one of each. And so you would get ALN. You wouldn't want to crisscross and get like AL3N3 because you want this to be in the simplest ratio. And so like a, a thing that happens sometimes is people will do one like this right here. They'll get one like mag. Uh, let's see here. Let me, let me let me do a better one than that. Not magnesium. Let's do one that uh, is better to do here. Let's see here. I'm trying to think of one that would work that to show you how that would work. But anyway, well, we'll deal with that. We'll do, deal with that a little bit later. I don't, there's not a good example on here for me to do. Okay, now let's go to number 11 and let's write the formulas. All right. So, anyway, or write the name. To write the name for like calcium bromide, well, I just said the name, but all you got to do is look up the name on the chart here, uh, calcium, and just write the name exactly like it's spelled, calcium, and then look up BR, so find BR, bromide. All right, it's number 12, look up this one, MG, magnesium. 
So I'm spelling it just like it is on the ion chart or the periodic table, the first element. The second element, uh, oxide, is not exactly like it is on the periodic table. It ends in IDE. All right, the next, uh, the next one you just look up would be like aluminum oxide. I think you can finish the rest of, of the rest of this worksheet. Just write the name down like it's from the left hand side. Write the name down from the right hand side. Okay, that's it on this one.